I, one of the things when I try to explain these, I try to give <coughs> you either the simplest way to solve it or something that's consistent no matter what the problem looks like. And so uh, my suggestion is in any of these area formula problems, always begin by rewriting the formula. So the area is equal to one half base times height. Just allows you to kind of organize the information that you have and what you need. Okay. So looking at this equation, I need two pieces of information. I need a base and a corresponding height. Okay. And in any given triangle, you have three pairs of base and height that you can choose from. Okay. If you are inclined to look at this known side of 10 as your base, then that means that you need to find this corresponding height. Okay. Is there enough information to find that height? You have an angle. That's an unknown side opposite the angle. Do you know what the hypotenuse is here? No. Do you know what this leg is? No, you just know that it's a part of 10. It's less than 10. So there's not enough information to use if that's your base and height. Okay. Now, the other thing is hopefully you're not automatically drawn to using that given side because anytime you have a right triangle, at what angle do the legs of a right triangle meet? 90 degree angle. Okay. They have that perpendicular relationship that a base and height for a triangle need to have. So usually if you have a right triangle, usually the legs of that right triangle are the best bet for your base and height. So let's say we were to assign one of these legs the base and the other a height. We don't know them yet, but we can see that those will make the base and the height to give you the, your area formula. And then you can look to solve. So in order to find your base B, you do have this angle of 32. B is opposite that angle, and you have the hypotenuse. So which trig ratio relates opposite and hypotenuse? Sine. So we can set up a ratio of the sine of 32 is equal to opposite B over hypotenuse 10. And so to solve for B, in this case, you just multiply both sides by 10. And there is your B value. So we get 1 half of 10 times the sine of 32. We can substitute that directly in for our base. And now we do the same thing for our height. So if we take our height using our angle of 32, we have our adjacent side of H, our unknown, and we have a hypotenuse, which trig ratio relates adjacent hypotenuse? We have cosine. So we know that the cosine of 32 is equal to the ratio of adjacent side H over hypotenuse 10. And once again, we can calculate this value H by multiplying both sides by 10. And that's what we can substitute in our equation for H. 10 times the cosine of 32 and so we now have this calculation. All of them are numerical values, so we can just plug it right into our calculator here. One half times 10 times the sine of 32 times 10 again times the cosine of 32. Okay, I do want my answer to be in decimal form, so since I haven't entered any decimals, on my display, I need to hit the green diamond button to give me that uh, approximate answer. And when I do, I get my total area to be 22.47 approximately. There are no units, so I'm going to use the letter U. It's an area, a two-dimensional measurement, so I'll say U squared. Okay. Questions on what I did there? Okay, again, Right triangles. Anytime you see right triangles, you should automatically think uh, right triangle trig ratio, so Katoa. And then you should also, if it involves area, think that the legs of that right triangle will oftentimes be the base and height of your um, triangle. All right, let's take another.